drugstores like skincare products slush makeup products they were really good really, they are really useful but you actually never realize that so I want to introduce what kind of things that I think they were great of using and so we start with the skincare part and is the toners from theirs and uh, the theirs rose toners rose water toners and it really helped my skin to balance my skin but you didn't see really a, a proof of my skin but it's actually great and it's cheap so if you want to look in for something you want to moisturize your face and it's all called it's all called free you can use it without wor we are worried your skin will like have a reaction to the toner but sometimes your skins will have a reaction if you are really sensitive but Due to that, I I was used to be in sensitive skin and I didn't see any inappropriate things happen while I was using these toners and I have been used in like over three bottles and I am going to move on my next bottles which means my fourth, yeah. There is, um, I think there is two different high-end toners I've been using, uh, it's Lancos it's also like the rose one, rose rose water one. I will put the picture next to me, and the other one is Origins. But I didn't see it treat my skin very great, so I didn't see very approved of these kind of toners. I have kept looking for a great toners, but if my skin has a problem, I will always back use the this this one toner rose water things. And the next thing is these first at beauties. Um, Ulta Repair Cream Intense Hydration for Dry Purchase Skins Safe for Sensitive Skin First, I didn't uh, I didn't really like think see this is useful because I think that creamy make my skin feel like have heavily there was something stuck on my skin I will want to wash them, them off but with this creamy I feel like my skin is getting better and better uh, than before it definitely didn't make me feel like it have something on my face and make me trying to wash them off. It didn't and it gave my skin like repel. I really do think they were repairing my skin and it was, you know they were like, like connecting to my skins. And yeah so if you want to look for some I really recommend this and it's safe for sensitive skin. It's really useful if you want to find some creamy and you don't want to like use too many stuffs. I think this one is great. And next one, this is my old high favorite um, lip balm. Lip balm. Yeah, I I forgot this brand name, but I use them a lot. It always in my backpack. Yeah, and it has a little bit of like pinky pink colors, and it will like flush your lips, makes your lips look glowy, but not shiny. Glowy but not shiny. Yeah. And it has great to your lips. I always apply this before I want to apply my lipsticks. Before I apply my lipstick, because I think um, there was a little damage. You know, like this lipsticks always about cream cold stuffs in it, and we were eating something. Of course, you have to rip off your lipstick before you eat, but. Uh, we wear our lipstick like for a long time in a day, so I think we need a, a protect to our lip before we apply it. So I recommend this lip balm because it doesn't change your lipstick colors, but it still gave you your lips moisturized and make your lipstick color looks more awesome, I think. And next thing is this baby powder. I always use it as my setting powder. And it has a lot of in it, so you can use it for a long time. And the next thing is my old-time favorite mascara. It's from Misha, and this 4D mascara is really great useful. You can tell my... I use it today to film this video, and I think the effect is very awesome. I dry very fast, but it has a very, very great curling 
effect. So if you want to look for some cheap, very great use mascara, I recommend this one. Oh yeah, and I will put all the products information down below if you want to know what kind of product I bought. And so that is today's video and hope you like it. And if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well. And I see you in my next video. Bye!